All right, guys, let's be real. Everyone clicked onto this video for a very specific reason. But before we get to that reason, before we get into the meat of the video and the discussion itself, I want to make sure that this disclaimer was put forth. I know that this is a controversial topic and is going to be a controversial video. However, that is intentional. This is not something I'm putting out there with big doe eyes saying, oh, I had no idea that people felt a certain way. I'm not doing this purely to generate views or something similar. A lot of people oftentimes, you know, bring that to light and say that that's a motivation behind a lot of content creators, not just me. Um, I'm putting this out there intentionally knowing that there will be negative feedback towards me uh, based on my views on this topic and hoping that people can limit the negative feedback to each other. But the end result is really to have a positive discussion about the betterment of the game uh, and realizing broken different game mechanic interactions. It's something that I've thought about a lot and I wanted to put this video out there. It is intentionally controversial to spur discussion, but I hope it can remain respectful. Now, now that that's been put out there, everybody knows uh, there's no pretense why I'm putting this video out there. There's no pretense what it's about. You've all seen the title. I'm going to get right into the meat of, you know, the discussion and actually what's going on here. The first example that I have of why Alpha Bridge is and will continue to ruin the PvP and Tom Clancy's The Division is Provident, the sniper weapon talent. Now, this is the biggest example as well, and that's why I decided to lead off with it. Uh, the reason that this is something that we should all look at and understand why it's kind of a lightning rod or a herald or a prophet of what's to come is because of the way that the whole process was handled and how it all ended up. Now, the Provident sniper talent up till patch 1.5 was not used by hardly anyone. It was not something that a lot of people looked to uh, to create builds around. It was not something that really mattered. And you weren't going to see a lot of people, you know, showing off their builds that use this mechanic in the Dark Zone. You would have the odd player here and there that used it and got a one-shot kill with it or something like that uh, and was super happy about it. And they rightfully were so. I mean, it was a really cool mechanic to have. It's something that not a lot of players were using. But uh, it was not something in the spotlight. Now... By itself, it's actually a really interesting talent. 60% damage on the last bullet of the magazine is, you know, it's not super overpowered. It's not 60% damage across the board, but it's on the last bullet. And there were no weapons in the game that allowed you to take full advantage of that and use it 100% of the time until patch 1.5. Now, after patch 1.5, we had the Model 700. Even after you fired all the bullets in the magazine, it did not reload in one continuous go. It actually did it thumb loaded one by one each round. And that allowed you to break that chain and then continuously fire 60% increased damage on top of your very high bolt action sniper rifle damage to begin with over and over and over. If you had the right other talents, that resulted in constant one shots. Now, one shots are not a fun thing. A lot of people disagree with that. Uh, they Some people like one shots, some people hate them, but a lot of people really dislike running up against them in the dark zone. Getting killed in one go by any mechanic is something that's very frustrating. They don't like sticky bombs for that reason. A lot of people don't like shotguns for that very reason, even though they've been changed now. Uh, there's a lot of animosity towards the one shot mechanics. So that was not something that Massive wanted to allow to remain in the game. So they removed the Provident talent from the 256 gear score sniper rifles. Now, one would think that since the 256 gear score sniper rifles have the highest base damage in the game, removing that 60% buff from them in particular would result in the problem being fixed. And one would be correct if it weren't for the Alpha Bridge gear set. Now, just to get back and mention again that we were talking about Alpha Bridge ruining the game, uh, not Provident or the Model 700. Now, if you can't roll Provident on a 256 gear score weapon, that's fine. Uh, enter the Alpha Bridge gear set where you can roll it on any other gear score sniper rifle and then have it active. Not only would it then be active, but it costs less and does not even require, it's not required that it be rolled in the third slot uh, if you have a much lower gear score item because you're going to always have the base amount of stat points needed to unlock every talent if you have a low enough gear score item. So you can have Provident with two sniper rifles, one being 256 that still has it active even though it was intended to not be able to be rolled on those sniper rifles and you can do huge amounts of damage with five other talents as well to augment the increased damage of that sniper build with an alpha bridge full tank build and what that allowed you to do is have a super tank build that could one shot every single player that it came across no problem and just would have destroyed the balance in the dark zone now this has been removed from all weapons now provident cannot roll on any weapon type but it was not retroactively changed which means some people still have this build. Some people are still running around with this build that is completely overpowered, blatantly broken, and is not something that could be allowed to remain in the game, uh, and let alone more people to obtain it every single day. So what happened is enter Alpha Bridge, and they had to remove a weapon talent from the game. They had to cut down on, on uh, content in the game. They had to remove and strip away 
content and mechanics that they had previously previously created that were previously fun because of the alpha bridge gear set now by itself it's one instance sure but the same way that patch 1.3 heralded that the balance was out of control and that every patch that then forward would have more and more profound impact on that balance and it would just absolutely become unplayable i think that alpha bridge is showing its true colors and the interaction of weapon talents as well as gun types as well as gear set talents is so diverse now and i'm a big fan of diversity so it really pains me to say this um, but it's so diverse in such a bad way that there's always going to be every time they release new content uh, and try and do cool you know new talents it's going to break something and something's going to go wrong and the metagame is going to suck because of alpha bridge now another obvious parallel is we have the assault rifle meta build but that's more of a perfect storm and there's a lot more at play than just alpha bridge now any one thing by itself that contributes to why the Alpha Bridge Assault Rifle meta is so consuming right now in the Dark Zone, why everyone is running it, uh, wouldn't be that big of a deal. It's a perfect storm. There's so many different things. Uh, but if you take any one of them and isolate them, it isn't a problem. Let's look at the Uncomplicated Talent for one. That's a really cool talent on the FAMAS weapon type. It's a really interesting way that you have this high RPM FAMAS with low stability uh, and low accuracy to get to take advantage of this 15% extra damage. And someone using just a FAMAS rifle is going to have a fun time. That's a cool new playstyle. It's a cool new you know batch of content. And I'm really excited about it. I was back at release of 1.5 and I still am. I think it's a really awesome weapon type. Enter Alpha Bridge. The uncomplicated talent is 15% flat increased damage. That is unconditional as long as you actually have done it right. Uh, you haven't modded your gun because the FAMAS by itself has lower stability, high RPM. Uh, but other gun types have very high base stability. So you can get the uncomplicated talent on a gun that doesn't really suffer from the fact that it doesn't need stability. And then it is super, super high of 15%. Now 15% is higher and unconditional if used properly, again, than the 10% from responsive. You have something like responsive, which up till now was a top tier talent and very good and still is, uh, but only had 10% and you had to be within 10 meters. So that's a conditional 10%. Now you have 15% from all ranges that's active in addition to all the other percentage weapon damage bonus types. Uh, this is something, again, by itself, if someone uses a FAMAS with some other gear set, it isn't a problem. Enter Alpha Bridge, it becomes a problem. And it becomes something that can kill too quickly. Because you have a high RPM alternative gun type with high stability and gets the full uncomplicated bonus and just makes an already super potent gear set even more powerful. Uh, enter any other you know list of mechanics. You have enemy armor damage. That by itself isn't a problem, but again, with Alpha Bridge and the interaction of all six weapon talents, considering now that by increasing percentage weapon damage bonus increases, you're just making uh, the Alpha Bridge you know, gear set stronger, much, much stronger, uh, because percentage weapon damage bonuses will always be super, super strong. They can't really put any more in the game, because even just by putting one in, the uncomplicated talent, again, by itself not doing anything, uh, you know, game-breaking, Alpha Bridge then makes it game-breaking. So what you have is a gear set alpha bridge that is now preventing the content creators of this game, not me that does YouTube content, not you know Twitch streamers. The actual producers and developers of this game are handcuffed by alpha bridge. They can't put in cool new diverse uh, weapon talents because they're going to break the game, not because the talent itself is broken, but because the alpha bridge gear set allows it to interact with too many other things uh, in a lot of different broken and unforeseen ways. So you have something like Provident, they've had to actually remove content from the game because of Alpha Bridge. You have something like Uncomplicated, which hasn't been removed yet, but I'm sure there's a rework coming uh, where it's not working properly. It's overpowered because of the Alpha Bridge gear set. And this is just with one batch of content. I am 100% sure, and I will stand by this determination, that Alpha Bridge in the future, if they release any more batches of content with new, awesome, diverse mechanics, uh, they would be fine on their own and they could calculate for that on its own. But as soon as they start to interact with Alpha Bridge, we're going to have a broken metagame. I kind of called this whole trend back in 1.4, or actually in 1.3 before then, but more so in 1.4. When they up the gear score, when they up the main stat amounts, something like Alpha Bridge becomes stronger. And there was no slated changes. They nerfed a lot of gear sets, they buffed a lot of gear sets. Alpha Bridge received little to no changes in the way that it functions. And as a result of that, and a whole bunch of other reasons, we are now going to see it break the game every single batch of content uh, with every single batch of content that is released in the future. Now, I am passionate about this game. That's no secret. I'm very, very passionate about this game. 
uh, it's something that hits very close to home for me. I built a whole a channel, a community, uh, and kind of a whole entire job around this title, and we are expanding to more, you know, as days go on. But this is our, our home base. We really love this game at Upper Echelon. And I love the Alpha Bridge gear set, and it used to be a breath of fresh air. It used to be a new way to combine weapon talents uh, and make things interact that was diverse, that was awesome, that was fun. And I never thought that I would say this, because what it does do is cut down on diversity in the end. But I would like to see the Alpha Bridge gear set either removed from the game or reworked entirely. And I know that that's controversial, I know that a lot of people are going to disagree, and I hope that they do. And I would hope that they contribute their feedback in the discussion below. However, I do not think that this is going to function in later content patches with DLCs, whether it be Last Stand or something similar, because the longer that this goes on, the more mechanics are going to interact and the more Alpha Bridge is going to actually handcuff uh, the mechanics and the release of content in this game. It's not going to allow us to do anything cool. We can't make any more talents. I say we because I feel so you know connected to this game, but the developers at Massive or at Red Storm are not going to be able to release cool new content because Alpha Bridge will break it. And I think that that needs to end. And I think that this gear set itself is the primary reason why this game, you know, is facing some more struggles. It really wasn't facing as many with 1.4. 1.4 is fantastic. 1.5 brought a whole new set of problems. And it actually also kind of woke us up to previous problems. And that is Alpha Bridge and the way that they interact. Now, this is extremely ranty. I understand that. Uh, this is a very rambly video with a lot of different opinions. And again, I would hope that a lot of people would chime in on this. Uh, give me your feedback and I know that a lot of people are also going to hate on this they don't want to see Alpha Bridge change they don't think it's a problem but I hope that the provident talent and the uncomplicated talent and the parallels that I've drawn show you why I believe that this is just going to spiral out of control and would spur a lot of people to think about it um, and to contribute to the discussion again so I'm going to end it there this is a total rant it's very early in the morning or late at night whatever you want to call it um, and it's something that I thought I would put out there, I wanted to put out there, I thought a lot about this. Uh, people talk about this concept on our live streams all the time, and it's something that I wanted to put out there and raise awareness to. So let me know your thoughts, let me know why you agree or disagree. Uh, again, sorry for ranting as long as I have, it's an extremely long video here. Uh, but I appreciate the viewership. As always guys, check out our links below if you want to support the channel, and have a nice night.